Envision a heavenly object unlike anything we've ever seen, jumping through the vast expanse of space at three times the speed of the typical comet in our planetary group. This isn't a fabrication of sci-fi, but a strange guest entering our planetary group in 2017. This unique object is the first interstellar object ever found in our nearby planet group, named Oumuamua in Hawaiian, meaning a messenger from afar arriving first. It has perplexed astronomers and produced hypotheses ranging from it being simply a space rock to perhaps an alien space apparatus cruising through our astronomical neighborhood. Oumuamua was 15 million miles from Earth, multiple times the distance from Earth to the Moon. What surprised scientists was its speed. As it rotated around the Sun, its rate increased, going against the laws of celestial mechanics. Might it be impelled by some unknown form of cosmic radiation? Or is it a comet emitting gases in a manner we've never observed before? In a universe governed by regulations and conditions, Oumuamua is a perplexing condition, a vast puzzler in the shape of a stone around 650 feet long. On October 19, 2017, a telescope in Hawaii caught a weak flash. This was no common celestial body. It was Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object to visit our nearby planet group. Unlike asteroids and comets born under the gravity of our sun, Oumuamua was a vagabond from deep in interstellar space. Its trajectory indicated that it was not bound by the sun's gravity, making it a transient guest to our system. What sets Oumuamua apart isn't just its origin but also its unique qualities. Its elongated cigar shape, its rapid rotation. They don't fit the standards of average objects in the nearby planet group. The academic community is buzzing with hypotheses and discussions about the nature of Oumuamua. Is it a comet without a tail, as observed with an unusual rotation, or something else entirely? These questions have sparked thorough scientific research, leading to an array of hypotheses, from it being a fragment of a larger celestial body to even more speculative ideas, such as it being an alien probe. The discovery of Oumuamua is a milestone in astronomy akin to when people first looked through a telescope and realized that Earth isn't the center of the universe. It sheds light on the formation of the nearby planet group and reminds us that our nearby planet group is only a tiny part of an immense, unexplored frontier. As Oumuamua moves farther away, becoming a faint speck in the vast sea, the desire to study it grows. Hopefully, with what was in store, more advanced telescopes will capture more information about these interstellar messengers offering new clues about the structure and history of the universe. Further examination of Oumuamua reveals intriguing details. Initially named a comet, it had none of the typical comet-like features, such as a bright coma or tail. It was for this reason that it was renamed as an asteroid. However, it isn't just any asteroid. It is a stretched, cigar-shaped object unlike any asteroid we've seen before. Its unique shape has led to various theories including the possibility that it's an alien space apparatus. Scientific papers describe the physical characteristics of Oumuamua in more detail. They mention the object is tumbling rather than spinning, which is unusual for both asteroids and comets. This tumbling motion could be the result of a collision with another planet, but this state is merely speculative at this point. The trajectory of Oumuamua presents another puzzle. It entered our solar system at an unusually high velocity and followed an hyperbolic trajectory, which in turn means it will never return. Most objects captured by a star's gravity go into an elliptical orbit, but not Oumuamua. According to scientists' suspicions, its trajectory was influenced by non-gravitational forces, which can be inferred by the release of materials due to fast vaporization. However, no such gas emissions were outwardly observed which further adds to the mystery. The lack of a visible coma in the object's high speed has led to various hypotheses. Each detail revealed about Oumuamua adds to the puzzle, prompting further examination and speculation within the academic community. Some scientists suggest it could be a fragment of a larger object that broke apart. Others believe it could be a new class of object instead of a comet or an asteroid. Some even entertain the possibility that Oumuamua is a solar sail, driven by radiation pressure. It is also believed that the object's high speed could make it a messenger from another star system, perhaps ejected by a planetary system orbiting a young star. 
This could make Oumuamua one of the first observed interstellar objects, a remnant from another part of the galaxy. The tale of Oumuamua is a space detective story where every clue only deepens the mystery. Its elongated shape is unlike anything we've found in the planetary group. Could this unique shape ever offer advantages for interstellar travel, such as reducing drag or increasing stability? Or is it the result of some cataclysmic event that we can't yet understand? Its trajectory adds another layer to the mystery. The absence of a visible coma and tail rules out the possibility that outgassing influenced its path. So, what non-gravitational forces are at work here? Could it be influenced by dark matter or another unknown cosmic anomaly? The theories surrounding Umuamua range from the plausible to the fantastic. Might Umuamua someday be a harbinger? A messenger from another star system? The possibility that it's a solar sail is particularly intriguing, and if proven, it would revolutionize how we might conceive space travel, opening up the possibility of radiation-propelled journeys between stars. In exploring celestial objects like Umuamua, astronomers rely on various tools. The investigation into the nature of Umuamua was led by a team of experts that included Jennifer Bergner, a physicist at the University of California, Berkeley. Bergner and her colleague, Daryl Seligman, an astronomer at Cornell University, were at the forefront of unraveling the object's secrets. Their work, published in the journal Nature, is considered the most convincing model of Umuamua's origin. According to Marco Melli, an astronomer at the European Space Agency, the team's observations were supported by NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescopes, which found that Umuamua had an oddly elongated, cigar-like shape and slightly sped up as it left the planetary group. This acceleration is often observed in comets when they're repelled by the material they emit. However, Oumuamua showed no such emission or any visible coma of dust and gas, which we would expect of a comet. The team used modeling to demonstrate that Oumuamua could have originated as a typical water comet orbiting a nearby star before being ejected out of the system. High-energy cosmic rays might have converted up to 30% of the comet's water ice into hydrogen which could have been trapped in Umuamua's ice as it traveled through interstellar space. As it approached the sun, the trapped hydrogen should have been released, giving the object the acceleration observed. According to Seligman, the team's hypothesis accounts for every unusual aspect of Umuamua. It suggests that Umuamua was indeed a comet, albeit an unusual one. The absence of a visible coma or tail can be explained by the fact that atomic hydrogen is much less massive than the materials emitted by typical comets and therefore doesn't entrain much dust. While Bergner and Seligman's hypothesis is convincing, it's important to note that not everyone in the scientific community is convinced. Karen Meech, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, still believes that the conventional model of a comet could have occurred. She suggests that Umuamua could simply have a small amount of dust, which would also explain the absence of a visible coma or tail. Another hypothesis, the idea that Umuamua could be an alien probe, has captured the public's imagination. Its elongated, cigar-like shape and unusual trajectory have led to speculation that it could be an artificial object. This hypothesis gained some traction when Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist at Harvard, proposed that Umuamua could be a thin, flat, nearly rectangular piece of material that could be a probe sent by an advanced civilization. Loeb's hypothesis was widely reported in the media, fueling speculation. However, while the alien probe hypothesis made headlines, it has not withstood scientific scrutiny. First, if Umuamua was a probe, it would likely have emitted some form of radiation or signals that would have been detected. Additionally, its tumbling motion is not consistent with what one would expect from a probe designed to move steadily or gather data. Furthermore, the object's trajectory can be explained by natural anomalies, as discussed in the previous section. The hypothesis proposed by Jennifer Bergner and Daryl Seligman, which suggests that Oumuamua is a hydrogen-rich comet, accounts for its unique characteristics and doesn't require extraterrestrial intervention. The idea that Umuamua could be an alien probe mirrors our collective fascination with the unknown and the possibility of intelligent life beyond Earth. However, it also serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of rigorous scientific research. Speculative hypotheses, while intriguing, can divert attention away from a more plausible explanation. Although, 
Oumuamua's unique qualities have baffled astronomers. The most likely explanation is that it is an unusual type of comet or asteroid. Its long journey through interstellar space likely altered its composition, forming an exterior that retained most of the frozen gas inside. This hypothesis accounts for the unique characteristics and is supported by observations from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. The discovery of Oumuamua has significant implications for our understanding of interstellar objects. It suggests that trillions of such objects may be passing through our nearby planet group, and we've only just begun to detect them. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope in Chile is set to receive its first engineering camera light in December 2023 with full survey operations scheduled to begin in October 2024. Once operational, LSST will potentially be able to detect more objects like Oumuamua. It is projected that LSST data will be fully publicly available in two years, opening up new avenues for understanding these mysterious interstellar visitors. Beyond telescopes, advances in propulsion technology and data analysis may allow us to intercept and study these objects more closely. Imagine a future where we could send a probe to rendezvous with an interstellar object, collect samples, and send back data in real time. The development of the European Comet Interceptor Mission was recently funded. The European Comet Interceptor Mission represents a significant leap in our ability to study interstellar objects like Oumuamua. Unlike previous missions that were designed to study objects within our planetary group, the Comet Interceptor is specifically designed to collect data on objects from outside it. The mission is led by ESA with support from the Japanese space agency, JAXA. The project aims to study a comet that has spent little time in the inner solar system and may be visiting for the first time. The mission will build on the successes of Rosetta and Giotto, past ESA missions that visited short-period comets. The spacecraft will consist of a main unit and two probes designed to observe the comet from different angles and create a three-dimensional profile of its yet-to-be-discovered object. The mission is rumored to be launched in 2029 and will travel to space with ESA's aerial mission. Once in space, the Comet Interceptor will wait for a suitable object at the Lagrange Point L2, a location 1.5 million kilometers behind Earth when viewed from the Sun, waiting for the next interstellar object to pass through our nearby planet group. Once such an object is detected, the spacecraft will adjust its trajectory to make a close flyby, capturing high resolution images and collecting data on its composition and even beginning its exploration. The discovery of Oumuamua has opened a new chapter in astronomy. How common are such hydrogen-rich objects in the universe? Could there be other interstellar objects with different compositions and behaviors? And most importantly, how can we prepare to better study these objects in the future? Oumuamua has served as a harbinger of future discoveries enabling us to prepare for new interstellar visitors that may be equally or even more baffling, while perhaps not all the more so,